Hello, and welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for Capricorn. I'm Julia Mikas. And I'm Jamie Kale Miller. Hey, Capricorn. And by the way, if Capricorn is your sun sign and you missed your annual birthday reading this year, it's not too late to benefit from a reading of your solar return birthday chart. It tells you all about the year to come and how to handle it for the best results. You'll find a link for that in the description below. Well, Capricorn, let's start by talking about finance, talking about money. The great news is that usually in the month after your birthday, you have a lot of second house activity, and that's the house of finance. And it's true this year as well. This year, uh, planets are filling up your second house, uh, starting right at the beginning of the month with the sun already there, bringing your attention to the domain of finance and money and security and safety and um, follow quickly by Mercury, bringing all of your best thoughts to that arena and your best analysis. And then Mars comes in a little bit later in the month, bringing a lot of energy and drive, but also potentially some spontaneity. So it's important to um, be sure not to be too spontaneous with your money once Mars arrives in your second house. Uh, but then really, the best news is that Venus is coming into your second house uh, right around the middle of the month, around February 17th. Uh, I think it's 16th, actually. And um, and it's going to be, it's such a good time for really enjoying life and um, just physically, just really being in your body and not just, you know, working to live, uh, living to work, but working to live. And um, it's a really good time also for making well thought out purchases of things that are going to last you for some time and are going to really bring benefit into your life for some time. And the last thing I want to tell you about money is that Ceres, which is the planet of money, it's an asteroid, and um, <clears throat> is moving into Capricorn, your sign. And so that's going to really bring a lot of attention to your your finances and how you can organize them the best, how you can take responsibility for them the best, and how your behavior can be reflected in that responsibility. So uh, that's going to happen on February 7th. And then Ceres is going to go on being in Capricorn for much of the rest of the year. So there's really going to be plenty of time to do some great organizational work on your money and how you handle it. Hey, Julia, what's up with relationships and career for the Capricorns of the world? Well, Capricorn, we've got the love planet Venus in your first house for the first half of February. So it's a really fabulous time, the first half of the month, if you're single, to try to get out there and meet someone new. Venus in the first gives you that extra glow, that extra boost, that extra um, charm, I guess. That's what Venus brings to you. It makes you more attractive. It's also a really good time if you need to do anything to um, beautify your personal appearance in some way. Now, we do have Juno retrograde in the ninth house. Juno is the marriage asteroid. So what this means is you're going to be reviewing your current relationship if you're in one or thinking about your future relationship, the next one you want to be in, through a sort of ninth house lens. The ninth house represents adventure, growth, beliefs. It's the house of religion. It's the house of philosophy. It's, it's about exploring the world. And you could be wondering whether you and your partner are on the same page when it comes to ninth house stuff you know do you guys explore and expand each other or are you guys just kind of you know holding each other back in some way or again you could be thinking about these in terms of your next relationship too now when it comes to career the ruler of your 10th house is venus and like i said she is in the first house for the first half of the month so this is a great time for any self-promotion that you need to do at your job if you need to take headshots if you need to um do something to um, add, increase, get a little luck with your public image, which is also ruled by the 10th, which will help you in your career. Definitely the, the time to do it. Um, and then um, Venus is going to be shifting into the second house, as Jamie was talking about, that house of finance. So for the second house of the month, you could be thinking about your career through how you can expand your own personal finances. If you own your own business, maybe thinking of ways you can earn more money from it, or 
or maybe earn more money from the career that you're already in. Well, that's all we have for you today. And if you enjoyed this horoscope, please, please do hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Find our site at PandoraAstrology.com to get a reading with one of us, and find us on Patreon for workshops and classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye.